predictability. The milkman, the paper bar, evening TV. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's you a look, heart, there's a heart, a hand hold on to. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's a face. Lost out there and you're all alone Light is waiting to carry you home Everywhere you look Hello and welcome to Tiger TV. I'm Ellie. And I'm Santi. And this is Intro's final show. Well, Santi, it's hard to believe the semester's almost over. I know, right? Time flies. First up, we have announcements. Take it away, Kiki. Anyone interested in competing in the Regional Science and Engineering Fair, please attend a Mia and Mrs. Middleton's room, room 1208 on December 5th at 5.15 p.m. As you know, the holiday break is approaching and midterms are right around the corner, so let's buckle down and make sure we're studying. Exams take place on the 17th through the 19th, beginning at 9 o'clock a.m. Remember to pay any school fees, class dues, and put money in your lunch account on myschoolbooks.com. Thanks, Kiki. Wow, we have a lot going around here at HS. Hey, did you hear about the cross-country state champs? Well, yes, I did. He, they did an amazing job. Here's Adams with the sports update. Hello, and I'm here with the girls' cross-country team who just won state for the second year in a row. This is... Samantha, Elizabeth, Harper. How'd you guys feel after winning state? Uh, we were really excited. We felt accomplished and proud of everything we'd done. All right, what's the best and worst things about running? Um, I would say the best part is like the team bonding, but the worst part is that it hurts real bad. <laughs> okay. What would you feel like were your biggest comp competition this day? Um, probably Mountain Brook and Huntsville. And what did you guys do to prepare? Uh, we visualized and listened to pump up music. Coach Berg and the girls cross country team recently defended their 2017 state title by dominating the field and winning another. Many girls placed very high overall including Hannah Dial first, Sarah Parnell third, Harper McGowan fourth, Samantha Rogers fifth, Hallie Stewart twelfth, Sarah Pacer nineteenth, Sangria Lincoln Valles twenty-sixth, Elizabeth Niss thirty-first, Liddy Beneath had sixty-second, and Emily Hadley sixty-third. Congratulations girls on another state victory. Hey Santi, I think it's time we did a commercial break. Good idea. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Please congratulate these theater students who earned awards at the Trumbauer State Competition. All students received superior in their categories. Many were first, second, and third place winners. Congratulations again. Dear Auburn High School, we had an idea. We decided to make a t-shirt of Mr. Bagwell. And what we need for you to do is pay for them, uh, if possible, by the end of the week. They're going to be on school bucks. We just figured, what an iconic character. What a lovable guy. He looks like halfway human, halfway gremlin. He's got the, uh, you know, the stellar beard. So, hey, why not? We're making a t-shirt of him. We hope that you will purchase. Come see me. Uh, it's $10 faculty, $10 students, or pay on school bucks. Uh, get your money in soon. Uh, we will not have a t-shirt for you, most likely, if you do not pre Order. So, thank you, and uh, let's hear what Bagwell has to say uh, about that. <laughs> How do you feel about a t-shirt being made about you? It is what it is. You don't have any opinions? I have zero opinion about most things. Don't forget, it's $10 students and teachers. Get your money in as soon as possible. out here ready to win this powder puff game dubs all around like we're ready let's go what's up all right find out okay
this week's student spotlight is really awesome. He has a lot of musical experience. Let's take a look at this week's student spotlight with Ton. Hi, my name is Gregory Stringer. I'm 17 years old and I'm a junior. The band is basically a second family to me. Um, I feel comfortable in the band. I've always, like, I'm always around the band, no matter what. Even if I'm at home, I'm usually doing something for the band. If you didn't do band, do you think there was anything else that you would be doing right now? My dad's a track coach, so I might, I could have been running track, but. I... Um, when you go off to college, do you think you were going to continue to pursue? Um, your career in band? Oh yes, uh, actually I'm going to college for music education to be a band director. So I'm a part of the percussion section so I play all the drums. I can play all the drums um, and all the keyboard instruments. My main instrument is the marimba. Yeah. On Saturday mornings or this, like every Saturday at college football games I would watch the band and be around them because of my dad. He was affiliated with the university so I got to see it up close and personal and see the behind the scenes and that was just really cool to me. Thanks Tom that was really inspirational. Hey Ellie did you see what the clubs are up to? Well I guess I did and Roderick is going to update us on the new clubs here at AHS. Um, I'm here today with Club Spotlight with Real. Real, what club are you in? Okay, so I'm in ACE, and it stands for Afrocultural Education Club. And basically what we do is we study black history and we do community service hours. And we're planning this year's first annual Black History Month event. Um, can you tell us about the Black History Month event? Okay, so we're having speakers come and a UAB professor of African history is coming to speak to us. And then right now we're working on choreography and rehearsals for the performances. And yeah, it's gonna be a fun show. How did you like get into this club? Okay, so I started it over the summer. I was working on lots of paperwork and you know, just getting a general idea. And then I was able to find a sponsor, Miss Thomas, and she sponsors this club with Miss Gentry. And so yeah, that's how we got all got started. Do you have something to say to the viewers about the club? How did you um, get in? So join the club, you can join at any point. And if you want to be part of the Black History Month event, let me know or Miss Thomas or Miss Gentry know. Thank you, Rue. Thank you, Roderick. I have an idea, let's play a game. In a second, we're gonna mix up these masks. Try to follow the mask that Mr. Johnson's face is hidden behind. At the end, take your best guess as to which mask Mr. Johnson's face is hiding behind. That was awesome. I would definitely go for round two. We want to warn everyone about the flu and the different viruses going around this winter. Here's Ken with the updates about these illnesses. Report well, live for Insta TV. I'm Kateria Jets and I'm here with Janice Schuster. All right, so what type of flus are people catching? Well, there's been a lot of viral illnesses going around, but we really haven't seen very, really no cases of the seasonal flu yet this school year. Okay, so what can people do to help prevent the flu? Well, it's important to get a flu shot. So if you missed our flu vaccination clinics that we had earlier this year, you can always go see your doctor, go to the health department, or even go see a pharmacy to get a flu shot. And one last thing, do you have any advice to give to our students and teachers? Well, um, it's really important if you're sick with a fever to stay home. And if you have a cold or some minor symptoms, uh, cover your coughs, and most importantly, keep your hands washed while at school. Okay, that's all we have for y'all. Uh, remember, wash your hands. We appreciate your information, Ken. That's all we have for you this week. And be sure to tune in next week for more Tired TV 2.0. We hope you have a Merry Christmas. And Happy Hanukkah. Study. Think. And serve.